Hello everybody, it's Jess here with Blush Jess. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome to another day of vlogist. I'm going to stop saying the names, the numbers of vloggers because it's just confusing. I'm all over the place. Basically, I'm doing a vlog every single day of the week except for Saturdays and Sundays. So anyway, it's vloggist. Yay for vloggist. Um, today, I'm going to start the, the um, vlog with a little grocery haul. So Lucy's party is tomorrow. Make sure you stick around. We'll definitely be showing you guys the party. But I needed to go buy some groceries for it. I'm doing... A fruit tray, a veggie tray, we needed drinks, we're doing a pinata, so I had to get candy, I had to get ice cream. You do not see any drinks or the ice cream because I already took that to the church. We're having our party at the church. And so I just went ahead and stuck the drinks in the fridge over there and the ice cream over there so it'll be all nice and ready for tomorrow. So anyway, we went to Aldi to get all the produce for the trays and a couple other things we needed and then we went to Walmart for everything else. So I thought you guys might like to see what we got. Starting at Aldi, um, I got four of these yogurts. Mark is already eating one. So that's why it's so nice and quiet while I'm doing this all. He loves these toasted coconut vanilla yogurts and they have 13 grams of, no, 12 grams of protein and a pretty good amount of fat because it's whole milk. He loves these. It's a great way for me to get protein in him. I was excited to find these. These are lunchbox notes and I love to write my kids little notes in their lunchbox so I thought these were really cute they were five dollars and they come with 180 cards plus like the seals um different like 18 different designs I thought this would be really fun to have for their lunch so for the veggie tray I'm going to do carrots baby like grape tomatoes peppers broccoli and then I, I've got dip at Walmart. I was going to get the dip at Aldi, but they only had French onion and I really wanted ranch dip. Oh, and just some cucumber. Then for the veggie tray, we're going to do apples. I got these Granny Smith because it's really good with the dip to do the Granny Smith. And then um, I'm making, I'll tell you guys about the fruit dip. We're doing, I already have grapes and we're doing strawberries. Um, I think that's all I'm going to do for the veg, the fruit tray. Keep it really simple. I went ahead and got some milk and we are out of the original orange. Mark calls these orange crackers. We have some of the white cheddar, which I think are delicious, but my kids don't like them as much and Mark will not eat them. So I got some more of the orange crackers. Uh, and that's really all I got at Aldi. And then we went to Walmart um, I got the kids some little juices for the party. Like they're like those little barrel juices and the ones I bought didn't come with straws and I just figured it'd be nice to have straws at the party anyway, in case anybody wants one in their soft drink. So I got these colorful ones because Lucy's party is like tie dye themed. So I thought that would go well. I could not get over how expensive candy was. I about died when I saw the prices. Like, do y'all remember when this kind of stuff was like a dollar? Yeah, this one was two dollars, but most of them were three thirty-six. This one was on sale for two dollars, so I got that. Um, her pinata is going to be indoors. We're not doing it outside, so I don't think any of this stuff will melt. Um, I got Twix cookies and cream minis, a bag of Starburst, some Airhead minis, and then this um, bag of Skittles, Lifesaver gummies, and Starburst. And this little bag, y'all, this is not a big bag, was $9. I don't know. I just couldn't get over the prices. Haven't bought candy in a while. I needed spoons. We already ca I already have forks for the cake, but I didn't think about ice cream. People might want spoons. So I got some spoons. I went ahead and got some of these Pringle-like chips, the great value kind. These have been out of stock, and so when I saw them, I just went ahead and grabbed them. We got original and barbecue. So for the fruit dip, I forgot one thing. David's going to, when he picks up the cake, he's going to pick up. You take the strawberry cream cheese, or you could use regular cream cheese. The strawberry is really good though. You take strawberry cream cheese and you mix it with a jar of marshmallow fluff. It makes the best fruit dip. It's so good. Everybody will ask you for the recipe and it's so easy, but I forgot the marshmallow fluff. So he's going to pick that up. This is going to be delicious. And then I got the great value ranch dip. 
Um, this was an impulse purchase. My throat is so sore. I can't even tell you. And for some reason, like nachos just sound really good. So I might have this later. I got this Taco Bell salsa con queso and I'm obsessed with the fire sauce right now. It's just so good. Like, I don't think it's that hot, but the fire sauce is just thicker than the mild and the medium sauce. It's so yummy. So I was happy to see they had a full bottle of it because I love it. And then I wasn't even planning on even looking at the clothes, but we walked by them and they had a big clearance section and they had these pieces for $1 and I just couldn't pass it up. So this, I won't probably put these on Nate at the same time because he would be like one solid blue. There's so happened. This is the color that they had in his size. Oh, and this says Husky. I did not realize that this was Husky. Um, but it does have a drawstring, so we'll just see. If this doesn't work, we'll donate it. We'll give it to somebody. It's a dollar. And these were $13 at one time. So I thought it was a pretty color. And then this one isn't Husky. They had a bunch of Husky stuff. Nate does not need Husky. Um, but this this one was $3, $3.98, and I got it for a dollar. These Wonder Nation t-shirts, Nate has a couple of them. They are so soft. They are soft. They've washed up really well and they've maintained like they haven't faded. It says fade resistant. I really like this. Like I can't tell y'all like how soft these cotton shirts are. Um, so I got him. Both of those were a dollar. I just couldn't pass it up. I would have gotten more, but that's all that they had in his size. They had a bunch like extra large, um, smalls. Anyway, this is everything. I'm going to put all this away. I still need to get ready for the day. I look like a hot mess and I'll, I'll tell you all about that. Just one second. Okay. So let me just go ahead and talk to y'all and then I need to get ready because I need to film a Sunday chat and I don't want to quite do a Sunday chat looking this rough, but I am talking to y'all on a blog. Um, last night was really rough. Mark slept all the way through the night no getting up. That's the first time that's happened since he's been sick. He did so good. But Nate woke up at two in the morning. We joke that they like tag team and they talk about who's going to wake up in the night because it's always one of them. Um, Nate woke up at two in the morning. Y'all know Nate has autism. Sleeping has been hard, but he hasn't been up in the night since he started school. Uh, so I don't know what happened. I don't know if he heard something that woke him up. It was very hard to get him back to sleep. He did go back to sleep for a little while, but then he was up again at five. So I am just exhausted. You can tell by my face. Um, I still have a cold, but I am starting to feel better. I just sound kind of yuck. So anyway, I'm going to go put all of this stuff away and I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Uh, today's Friday for us. So Excited for the weekend, Lucy's big birthday weekend. She is pumped, and y'all can just go throughout the day today with us and hang out. So let's get going with the day. All right, you guys, I look a little bit more put together. <laughs> My hair is getting so long. I was actually going to curl it today, and I was like, no, let's just straighten it. It'll be so much faster. So I just laid Mark down for a nap. I'm going to go ahead and try to film my Sunday chat. Hopefully, I may have to stop it a bunch because my voice is going in and out and I keep sneezing and coughing, but we're going to power through and get this filmed. Um, wish me luck. <laughs> anyway, I will see you guys when Nate gets home. I haven't heard. Yesterday, I didn't vlog yesterday, but yesterday was kind of a hard day for him. Um, I haven't heard anything today, so hopefully it's a better day. Um, transition is hard for all of us and especially for him because they're still trying to learn him. He's trying to learn them. Um, anyway, I didn't vlog yesterday. and Yesterday was just a rough day all around. I felt really sick. I am so behind on housework. So behind. Um, but it'll happen. Like, it'll happen. Once we get back uh, feeling better and everything and get back in a routine, I'll get it. I'll get it fixed. Look how much candy all that turned out to be. A huge bowl. I wanted to um, just put it in a bowl and kind of mix it up. And then when Lucy gets home, she wants to help me stuff the pinata. We have this, and then we have a few, like, little odds and ends toys to stick in there, too. Hopefully, we have enough. It's hard to know, like, because it's not that big of a pinata, but I'm sure we can, like, pack it in. So, we'll see. I'll keep y'all posted on how it goes. She is pumped for her party. Pumped. So, anyway, I'll show you guys when she gets home, and we'll put it all together. And all right, you guys, Lucy's home, so I'm going to see if she wants to help me, but I'm just getting it all set up. So, I have this bowl of candy. We also got some bouncy balls glow sticks, little finger puppet eyes, 
um, or hand puppet eyes. I hope this is enough. I mean, I think it is because if you look at this pinata, it's just a little bit bigger than my bowl, but I know you could probably stuff a lot in there. So we're going to stuff it in and see if it comes to the top. David's going to go to the store in just a few minutes to get the cake and um, a couple things I forgot <laughs> and diapers because Earl is Mark is out of diapers. Um, so if he needs to get more, he can obviously. So here's the hole that we're going to stuff all the candy in. I'll let you guys know. Lucy, tell us what you're looking forward to getting out of your pinata. Uh, She's looking excited. excited. The um, the um, cookies and cream crunch, the cookies and cream Twix. Yes, okay. uh, I never tried this, and I think it's new. It looks, looks yummy. It looks really good. So we're stuffing it, guys. Boom. You think we're gonna have enough, Liz? Yeah. I think so. We'll see. Mark's very curious. Mark, you gonna catch the stuff that comes out of the pinata? He's gonna get all lost. <laughs> okay, guys, we got the exact right amount of candy. I don't know if you can tell, like, it is filled all the way <laughs> to the it very doesn't, top. It doesn't look like I mean, it is filled. We turned it upside down and filled every inch. So there's a little, um, yeah, there's this little cardboard piece right here that'll keep it from it coming out. Oh, man, it's heavy. <laughs> Daddy was going to use, um, like, uh, weed, eater, weed eater line <laughs> to hang it. We'll have to make sure that's strong enough. This is really heavy. Yes, I really, I can't even hit That's going to be exciting. Let's not break it right now. That'd be sad. If you guys want to feel better about the state of your own house, look at this mess. You can tell we haven't cleaned in here in a few days. Um, normally we clean up toys every single day, multiple times a day, but I've not been feeling well, so it's all been just thrown around. So, yay, <laughs> I need to clean this up before somebody trips on something and gets hurt, but that's what we got. I have people coming tomorrow to get this mattress, and I will finally have my entryway back, so that's great. The kitchen, it's also a hot mess. I'm not promising this is all going to be clean by the end of the day, but I'm hoping to at least make it a little bit better. So, I'm trying to decide what to do for dinner. Um... I think I'm gonna make some sausage balls. I made those when my mom and dad were here and they were so good. I used um, pancake mix, like the Krusty's pancake mix, and cheese and sausage and some spices. They were so delicious. The kids won't like that. Look how, <laughs> I literally have dark circles around my eyes, plus mascara. Um, what was I gonna say? Kids will eat that, so I may do some chicken nuggets for them. But I, or I thought I could even do like a breakfasty dinner, like do sausage balls, maybe some cinnamon rolls, cut up some fruit. You may do that. Anyway, I still don't feel. You could tell I still don't feel great. So, um, when I get dinner all together, I will definitely show y'all. But the party, there's not much I can else. There's not much else I can do tonight for it. David's gonna print off some stuff for a couple games he's working on. I already got the games I was doing ready. I need to make the fruit tray, the veggie tray, but I'm going to do that in the morning so I don't have to store it all put together in my fridge. And I need to mix up the dip when he gets home with the marshmallow cream. I will mix that with that cream cheese and have it chilling in the fridge. That's really it. So <coughs> I am always pro having your kid's birthday party somewhere besides your house. Is it just like you can see, like if I had people coming over tomorrow, I would have spent all day cleaning. And honestly, I don't feel like doing that right now. <laughs> so I think it's worth, like we're having it at the church, but it's worth like renting out a trampoline park or whatever, $200 or whatever it is. If you can afford it, I feel like it's money well spent. <laughs> so anyway, it's going to be a fun time. I am going to stop talking because my voice is shot and try to pick up some of these toys and I'll see you guys back here at dinner time. Maybe I'll show you guys how to make the sausage balls. If you want to see it, give this video a thumbs up and maybe I'll show y'all, but I'm going to have to already do it before I see your thumbs up. So I'm doing it in faith that you're going to thumbs it up. All right, you guys, I'm going to show you these really simple sausage balls. They are so easy. You need a pound of sausage. I like using the spicy, but I didn't get it this time. So I'm going to add, this is what I did the last time I made these. I just added some crushed dried pepper flakes, but you don't have to add that. You can just do the regular if you like that better. You need a couple of cups 
Let me make sure I'm telling you guys right. I will link the recipe down below. Yeah, you need two cups of cheese. I'm going to use the small cheddar. I do prefer to grate it myself, but we're going with fast today. You need half a cup of milk. I got to get the milk out. Salt and pepper, one cup of pancake mix, and a little bit of parsley flakes. I'm using the dried. You just mix it all up with your hands. My hands are clean, so no big deal. And then you roll it into balls and bake it at 350 until they're brown, about 20 minutes. So sausage, cheese, milk, spices, and a cup of pancake mix. And I've done this with Bisquick before, and it's not quite as good. This has just a tad of sweetness to it or something. These do not come out sweet, but they just have so much good flavor. They're not dry at all. They're delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix these up. All right, I rolled them out, and there they all are. They're kind of crammed on the pan, but I think it'll be fine. Um, Dana picked up Lucy's cake. I'm not sure I love it, but it's just, it'll be fine. Um, I don't know. Here it is. We were going for like a tie-dye kind of vibe. Um, and I wish the purple and blue were a little brighter and not so dark. Um, and I wish there was a border around it. There's no border on the top. But it is fine. It'll, it'll be tasty. She has chocolate cake on, on the underside in there. Or the cake part is chocolate. So she hasn't seen it yet. And I asked them not to do the little balls. But they did them anyway. So... It's fine. It'll be good, but it's not like my favorite cake we've ever had. Too bad we don't have Nani here to um, make it for us. Okay, so these kind of flatten out when you cook them, and I did flip them over and let them get brown a little bit on both sides. These are so good, and they're so moist because they have a little bit of a kick to them. I like to put a little ranch. I know not everybody likes ranch, but ranch is good on literally anything. So these are so yummy. Okay, you guys, I have to have the air on, but I'm going to try to not have it blaring in the video. David forgot the marshmallow fluff. He went and got the diapers. He got the cake. He forgot the marshmallow fluff. So he was going to go back out, and I was like, no, I'll go back out later while you're bathing the kids. So he's got the boys in the tub, and I'm going to go probably to Kroger and get a jar of marshmallow fluff. There's so many things we have bought for this party. I'm like, dang. <laughs> we could have just taken her to, like... Um, a hotel for the night or something for all the, she's going to have so much fun though. She keeps saying, uh, thank you so much, mommy and daddy. Thank you so much for everything for my party. I'm like, oh. So anyways, any who's I'm going to go do that. Those sausage balls were so good. And, um, I have some fruit and stuff, but I ended up just eating a few of the sausage balls. I'm not. I still don't have the best appetite. Mark still doesn't have the best appetite. He would not eat any cinnamon rolls. He just drank a little bit of milk. So anyways, this cold has been rough, but I, I do feel a lot better than I did. I just have this congestion that almost makes me feel claustrophobic. I don't know how to describe it. It's like I can't breathe well. And so it makes me like panicky because I feel like I'm suffocating. I can breathe through my mouth fine. Um, but my nose is so congested and I've done nose spray. But after like two hours, it wears off and it's supposed to last 12. So I don't want to overuse it, but I am miserable. And especially at night when I lay down, I cannot breathe through my nose and it just makes me feel panicky. I don't know how else to describe it. But anyway, I'm going to go get this marshmallow fluff and I'll come back home and we'll make the dip. And I am going to chill the rest of the night. I need to check the mail because I ordered Nate, a big Nate book. It's one of the ones he's worn out from the library. We had to turn our library books in in a couple days. So I ordered him from Amazon like a $7.99 copy of the book he really likes. So when we get home, I'm excited to give him that and tell him he gets to keep it. I think it's supposed to come today. So I'm going to check the mail. Then I'm going to go to Kroger. Okay, you guys, I am home. I'm just enjoying sitting in the car for a minute. Um, mom life, y'all know that sometimes you just need a minute when you get home. Thought I'd show you guys a couple of things I got. Kroger actually had their own off-brand of marshmallow cream, so that saved me about a dollar. I was even looking on the Walmart app to see if they had a knockoff version, but I couldn't find it. So I don't think Great Value has one. Anyway, sometimes I find Kroger has off-brands that even Walmart doesn't have. These things have gone up a ton. My kids love these Danimal smoothies. 
they were on sale for $2.99 for this small little pack. Um, but it's something that Mark really likes. So I got that. And then the only other thing I got is I got two of these half and halves. They were on markdown for 99 cents and they don't expire till September 6th. So we've got a whole few weeks. What is, that? is it almost September already? That's crazy. Um, but I like to cook with these and like we'll put them in coffee and they'll be gone by let's say three weeks from now. Besides you have a little bit, you have a little bit of leeway with best buy dates. Um, as long as it, you know, smells okay and stuff, I, I would use this a week or two past date. So, um, we'll make sure to use that up. I'll make something with it. I just could, I just thought it was a really good deal for 99 cents for that cream half and half. So anyway, that's all I got. Nothing too exciting, but I did get Nate's book. So I'm going to go in if he's not in the tub still, um, he should be out. Um, I'm going to surprise him with this and he will be so excited. This is the big Nate Funka Funka Funka. It's like one of his favorites and we've had it out from the library for like, I keep renewing it. We've had it probably a month or so. Um, so I saw it was on sale on Amazon for $7.99. I was like, you know what? Let's just get him his own copy. So Nate reads books so much that we go through books. Like he will wear through copies. We've worn through Dogman's, Captain Underpants. Like they're falling apart. Elephant and Piggy. So I can't believe it's almost September. That like blows my mind. Nuts. Nuts. All right. I'm going to go inside now. Nate, mommy has a surprise for you. I have a surprise for you. What do you think? That's your book. You don't have to turn it in. That You get to keep that one. Are you happy? Nate is very tired. He had very little sleep last night. I think he's pretty happy. Funka, Funka, Funka. Hey, look at Mommy. Is that your favorite? Hey, thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. We're happy. All right, you guys. I just got out of the shower. I find that sitting in a hot shower or bath really helps my sinuses kind of drain. I've also been doing like warm compresses and that's been helping, but it's driving me crazy. Um, I just got some editing done and we're going to get ready for bed. The kids have been laying down for about an hour, almost an hour. Mark and Nate are both so wound up. I think Nate is definitely overtired from not sleeping well last night. And his talking is keeping Mark awake. It's just one of those nights. So hopefully we have an okay night. We are ready for Lucy's party tomorrow. I just need to get up and make the fruit and veggie tray. We will definitely be taking you with us to the party. So make sure that you come back tomorrow. Um, I am grateful that we are starting to feel better. Mark is definitely a lot better than he was this time last week. That's for sure. So thank you for hanging out with me today. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and subscribe. If you're new, we'll see y'all tomorrow. It was a thirsty night when I first saw you. Those green eyes caught me. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a Friday night when I first kissed you.